thing I do when I'm planning for my kindergartner for the week is try to pull out anything that we haven't used for the week and either get rid of it, grade it, file it, whatever needs to happen. So I go through each one of these drawers here and I just kind of try to pull anything out that doesn't belong there and clean up the desk. So yeah, we have these little gems because that's what we were learning about this week. So that's step number one. Okay, so second, I go to um, my list of weeks that I've already kind of planned out the different themes and they're based off of my father's world. So they kind of already have resources and stuff for me. Um, and this week is gonna be week 12 and it's insects, butterflies, and things like that. So I try to think, okay, do I have any books that are related to that? I need to uh, reserve books from the library. Just kind of trying to think in that theme what I have already. Then I move on to my actual lesson planner. This is the one I use right here. I think I got it maybe from Amazon or christianbook.com. It's Evan Moore. Um, I just think it's adorable. So that's pretty much why I use it. <laughs> I need things that are cute to keep me inspired. So we're gonna keep going through all the weeks. So we were just on week 12. We're in like the second semester. Actually, no, I'm totally lying. <laughs> we're in week 11. So now is gonna be week 12 of the second semester. So as you can see, I took take a week uh, take a look at last week and see if there's anything that I need to pull over from the previous week that I hadn't done. So I just kind of break it up into categories, math, writing, reading, social studies and science, art and music, and then any activities that are provided, you know, by my father's world or from anywhere else. And then over here, I just have the date. And then each day I have different themes. Um, Tuesday, we have language arts day. So that, like, we basically watch a show that's language arts. And then she reads, um, we read books that are language arts. And then Wednesday is math theme. Thursday is social studies theme. And then Friday is science and art themes. I would also write down, I didn't this past week, but what activities she might have going on too. So my next step is then to go to this um, file bin crate thing and um, to pull any materials for that specific week. I went... I think it was like halfway through the year and I planned out sort of loosely the rest of the year based on weeks, not by the dates, uh, which was very helpful because then if we had to skip a week, it was okay because it wasn't based on the actual week. It was based on, or like it wasn't based on the dates. It was based on just a number week. So this week we're on week 12. So I go right here and I pull anything out. I just fold this, pull this folder and it has everything in it that I'm going to need for this week. It's already basically planned out for me and everything's falling out. So basically when I'm done with this week, what I would do is having a rough time is I would take it and put it behind week 11. And so it just continues to cycle out. And then by the time we're done, we're back at the beginning or basically back at the end. And then we would start again with week one. I do that the same thing with the months. I kind of calculate, all right, I have about two or three weeks left of April, and then I'm going to have May coming up. So I kind of just put it in between the weeks where I think May might fall, and then it's already kind of organized for me. So I'll show you kind of an example of what I would put in these folders. I basically put anything and everything that I can think of that I've got already that would be fitting within that theme of that week. So this is week 12. I think I mentioned butterflies, insects, and such. And so I have these flashcards that I have. So I threw those in there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. I've got these little kind of trivia cards for bugs. Oh, gross. <laughs> this is not going to be my favorite week, but you know, kids got to learn, right? We have a science experiment that we already have ready to go. I think these are from learning resources. Those have been really fun. We've done pretty much all of those this year. They're very easy. Gross. And then I've already got all of her reading curriculum pulled out and ready to go into the uh, the drawer. So I would just take this and put this in the reading drawer so it's ready to go. I got this from the dollar store. This is really cute. It's a butterfly life cycle spinner. And then this is just one of the many books we have on like butterflies and things like that. So I, I threw that in there just so I wouldn't forget about it. 
So the next thing I do is I go to uh, my bag that has the curriculum in it. And this is a bag, I think it's like a 31 knockoff, but I have loved it. I've had it for probably five years and I think I got it off eBay. If I can find it, I can link it below. So it's got all the pockets and everything like a 31 bag would have, but it was way, way cheaper. And then inside I put one of these file bins to kind of hold this bag up because you know, it's fabric. So it, it would slouch quite a bit. So then on the inside, I put my binders that have our curriculum in them. So these are just standard one inch binders. And then, so what I do is I pull each one out and I look at what's coming up for this week. So like math, this is the um, curriculum that we use. It's called interactive math by the crafty classroom. Okay, so then I go ahead and look at the curriculum overview and it tells me, you know, week one through 36, what uh, I'm gonna be doing. So I know that it's week 12, like my week 12, not her week 12, because I went through halfway through the year and put all the rest of the weeks in. So I know that week 12 is gonna be a review week and what to look for. So I just go back here, it's all ready for me. And they do, it's called a show what you know. It's sort of like a quiz at the end of four weeks, they kind of do four days of quizzes. <clears throat> So what I'm gonna do is I'll pull those four out and put them in the math drawer. Simple as that. And so then I know that's gonna be for the next week. It's already ready to roll. And all I do is close it up and put it back in my bag. And then I move on to reading, which I actually had already had put in my file system. But if I hadn't, I would look right here and do the same thing that I did with the math. I'd say, okay, we're on week six. Let me pull out what I need from behind. So we're gonna be on week 12, which tells me we're learning about EST. These are our sight words. This is our language arts lesson, and it's all ready to go in the um, Sterilite drawer. And then writing, we used the handwriting without tears. And again, I went through the different weeks and wrote out what we were going to be doing for each week. And so I had it and I would pull it out. We're basically done with that though, so I, I can't show you that. And then back in it goes for the next week. And then social studies and science, we kind of do those once a week. I don't get too caught up in them because I find that reading, writing, and math are the main things I need to worry about. We had these from the fall, our experiments for Thanksgiving. Those again are from the crafty classroom. I kind of use anything and everything for science experiments. So, you know, I leave that to, to my husband and he takes care of that because <laughs> if science is not my favorite subject. So then we move on to social studies, which I do a few different things. We use a curriculum that goes by the different states and teaches you the different states and the different state birds. Again, it's from the crafty classroom. <laughs> so I just went out uh, and wrote out all the different birds that we're going to be going over because she's really interested in birds and I kind of want it to be based on her interest um, as well as something she does need to know. So those I will pull out whatever we're going to be doing. Say we're going to be doing the brown thrasher bird and so I pull out whatever states. I put them in the social studies drawer and then they're ready during the week. And then science is kind of a mishmash of different things so that, that really doesn't have a specific curriculum. This goes back in here and my bag is ready for next week. So my next to last step is to take my planner, which is blank right now. And this planner I only use for my kindergartner because there's just so many activities and things I need to try to fit in here. So I will basically plug in everything we're gonna do potentially for the week. Not everything always gets done rarely. And so um, I'll show you how I do that.
done with my planning um, for both kids, what I'm going to do is go to my local library website and reserve any books that we're going to need for either one of them and for our morning time.